How Nigerian Army personnel turned peace meeting in Delta community to shooting spree, killed over 50 persons, including children, residents, Nigerians. Truth is gradually coming out. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Residents of Akuma community in Ugele, South local government area of Delta State, have disclosed what caused the shooting when some Nigerian army officers visited their community for a peace discussion. According to residents, the slain military personnel arrived in two, in two gun boats on Thursday, March 14, purportedly for peace talks with the community chairman and leaders. And the community greeted them warmly and off offered them cola nuts, resulting in a peace dialogue. The resident added that the tension in the community escalated after the military personnel insisted on taking away the community chairman and some leaders for further questioning after the peace talks, which the people resisted. The refuser, it was reported, enraged the military men who opened fire on the town hall where they were holding a meeting with the residents resulting in casualties in the village vanguard reports the residents accused the soldiers of unexpectedly opening fire on residents and reportedly killing about 50 persons adding that this led many of the residents to flee the community and hide inside the forest the fleeing residents did not explain the community role in the brutal execution of the 16 military officers later that day. But they did say that on March 15, the military returned for a second attack, setting fire to houses in the community, causing them to escape. One resident who pleaded anonymity unanimity said on march 14 the military personnel visited akuma and the people welcomed them the first said they wanted to walk around the community they walked around and said they wanted to go to the town hall for a peace talk the people entertained them as it's customary with such visits they asked for the community chairman and leaders they sat with them and they held peace talks together. After that, they asked the community chairman and some other leaders to follow them. The people said they had already held peace talks with them, but they said they must take the leaders away. The community refused, and from there, the army turned the whole story to violence right there in the community town hall. The army started shooting our people there. The people started running. Some were killed instantly, and people ran away because nobody expected shooting by the army that very day. Then the army left, but within a while, they came back with more reinforcement gun boats and other things. Instantly, about 20 persons were killed, and when they came back again, they began to shoot. They killed nothing less than 50 persons on that day. Then, the following day, they mobilized again some from Bomadi. Okwogbe, they came together and burned the whole community down. That was on the March 15. A community leader who collaborated this recounted that every day, March 14, we did not expect what happened as we saw two gunboats come with the army. We were surprised. But the army maintained that they came for peace talks, so we welcome and entertain them. When they wanted to go, they said they wanted to take our chairman and the leaders alone, but the community refused. So the army changed all of a sudden, and they did not act as people we just entertained. They opened fire, and in the process of firing our youth, old women and children died in the spot. More than 20 dead instantly. They left, but came back and opened fire again. 
rising to the, the casualties to 50 and they returned on March 15 and burnt every house in Akuma community. Another fluent mother said, some of us have yet to see our children since March 14. We have been hiding in the bush. Some, die, some dead bodies are there. Therefore, we want the government to come and rescue us. On the killing of soldiers, she denied that the community initiated the attack on the army, saying the army came to meet us and we entertained them. It was after the peace talks. They said they want to take our leaders away. We did not attack the army in the river. It was their eastern six to take away the community chairman, the secretary and other leaders that led to the shooting. They killed the youth, the women and children in the town hall. But there was confusion everywhere. Therefore, people ran heter scatter. We are calling for a full-scale investigation into this incident for government to find out those who killed our people and the soldiers as well. Nigerians, this story is becoming something else. We are beginning to hear all that truly happened on the two days, 14th March, when the villagers of Akuma were killed by the soldiers and the mother of the soldiers the following day, 15th March. First, it is not possible to hold such peace meeting without the police, the DSS, and indeed the Delta State Government House being involved. The liars can keep spraying and adulterating the fact of the incident. For now, the public hearing shall eventually come. We are expecting to hear more. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.